Hello everyone, Drake the Chair. Today we're gonna to be going over the Adjunticator. So the Adjunticator has two modes. That's auto and semi. So auto is gonna fire as long as you're holding the trigger. And then semi is gonna fire every time you press the trigger. So the faster you can press the fire faster you can fire. Now the big difference between these two modes this is the recoil. As you can see, there's barely any recoil there. The faster you press it, the more recoil you have. So let's switch it back. Now, when you're on auto, you're going to raise much faster. And then you're going to have 25 meters, 50 meters, and 100 meters. So, 100 meters are going to have really high recoil when you're looking through it I would use the 100 meter when you're using single fire burst and then I would use the other two for auto it might make it a little bit easier so 100 meters is good for when you shoot far away and then 25 is good if they're right in front of you 50 is pretty good in between. It's more like if they're just when they just see you, you know? When they're just out of your range of detecting you. So if you want to use it for a medium range, I would use a 50 meter. If you want to use it for a short range, I would use it and 25. And if you're just going to be using it for sniping, like 100 meters, keep, just keep it on 100 meters. But uh, shooting it third person is pretty good. So the 25 might not be necessary. 50 might be better. I usually keep it on 50 myself. Just for zooming in on gunships and stuff. If you're in semi mode, sometimes you won't shoot fast enough for the light bugs. And if you're in auto mode, sometimes you can't be as precise as you want to be. You're gonna play. You're probably gonna switch between these as you're playing, depending on the situation. So if you want to switch your scope, all you have to do is hold R and mouse wheel up. And if you want to switch your from auto to semi, you just hit the right mouse button while you're holding R. Now let's go over some of the terminates and their weak points. First up we have the hive card. The hive card has a weak point in the head with the adjunticator. It penetrates through the skull. Next up we have the brood commander. The brood commander takes full damage in the head. Once its head is gone, it'll start running faster and try to kill you. You can shoot it in the legs to slow it down or jump out of the way. Next up is the Ball Spearer. Now the Ball Spearer takes damage from the head, but the penetration doesn't do much. You can still shoot it from the side as well and blow up the sack. I'm not sure which one of these is better. Just I just shoot the sack usually. Next up we have the Charger. The charger's weak point is the Thorax. Once the Thorax is gone, the Charger will bleed out and die. I like to use stun grenades to get behind them and then shoot it. Sometimes it can be difficult though. It's going to take about two clips to kill it. While it's bleeding out, it can still attack you, so you want to be careful and just walk away from it. Next up, we have Shriekers. Shriekers are easily taken out with the Adjunticator. I recommend shooting them in third person instead of first person as a recoil can make it hard to hit them sometimes. But it depends on how far away they are. Next up we have Bile Titans. Now Bile Titans have two weak points underneath. One in the midsection and one on the back. You can hit both of them fairly easily, but it takes a lot of bullets to break them. You don't need a lot of bullets to kill 
the Bile Titan, you just need to weaken it enough for your stratagem to kill the Bile Titan. I think it's pretty much impossible to take out a Bile Titan just a primary. Unless it has some kind of uh, break in the armor where you can shoot through. Some people say that there's a weak point underneath the chin or when its mouth is open. But I think that comes from when the railgun used to work to penetrate its armor. You used to be able to shoot it in the head. Not so much for primaries. So I just wanted to show you an example of shooting a bile titan a couple times and then throwing a stratagem at him to finish him off. I managed to kill both of these bile titans using just one stratagem, which is two hell bombs, and then shooting them a couple times. I didn't even have to shoot the first one as many times as I did. I just wanted to show you guys how difficult it could be to kill it with just the primary because it's mostly heavy armor. You can see I weakened it by shooting it a little bit in the weak points. And then I threw a hell bomb. And then the hell bomb takes it out. Now I died here because I ran out of stims and ammo and all that stuff. But just watch how quickly I take out the second one. Just a few bullets and a bit of damage from the other hell bomb. And then this hellbound was able to take it out very easily. You're better off just standing back far and throwing your stratagem or working together with your team to take it out. Next up we're going to do terminated structures. And first thing we're going to do is bug eggs. So the bug eggs take one or two shots each from the adjudicator. Next up we have spore spears. Now spore spears are going to reflect your bullets. And I tested all the other structures but I also couldn't destroy those. Next up we have light bots, their weak point are their heads. Next up we have striders, now striders can't be penetrated from the front by the adjudicator, you're going to have to come around the back and shoot them. They do take some damage in the leg and in the bottom, but it doesn't seem to actually hurt them much. Next up we have devastators, now devastators weak points are in the head, the midsection, the rocket launchers and the backpack. I tend to go for the head and the midsection. I start at the midsection and then let the gun recoil go up to the head. Next up we have the tank. Now the tank's weak points are in the exhaust in the back and the solar panel on the top. I recommend going for the solar panel on the top. I'm not sure which one is more weak, but when you go on the one on the top, you're going to be able to ride the tank, which makes it a lot easier. I was able to destroy the tank just using the adjudicator, but I don't recommend it as your first choice because it takes a long time to destroy a tank. Something weird going on with the penetration on this gun. I'm not sure if it's because this is a medium armor or something like that, but I would recommend just using stratagems instead. They added a lot of enemy patrols single player, so while I'm testing, you'll see that I run into a lot of enemies more often, and I have to kill them while I'm testing. So I wasn't sure if I should just edit it out or show you, so I just decided to keep filming and show you and speed it up. But this is how long it would actually take you to destroy the tank. Next up we have gunships. Now the problem with gunships is the same as the tank. The penetration on the gun isn't as good as it would be on another weapon. So, and you have to fire at the thrusters as well. I don't think it actually does any damage if you shoot at the main part of the gunship. When you shoot at the thrusters, you will hurt it. It will take a long time to take down. This is not a very good weapon for taking down gunships. You'll be able to shoot it, but the damage is very low. It took me a long time to be able to do this. I would recommend just 
taken something that's better for dealing with gunships. By the time you end up destroying the gunship, another one will probably spawn in its place. So it's probably not really good unless you have your allies helping you do damage as well. It also doesn't help that when you get shot by missiles, you get a lot of recoil on your weapon. If you're not careful while fighting the gunship, you can easily be overwhelmed by all the patrols that they've added since the latest patch. Gunships tend to stay ahead of you now, so I just chose to stay behind cover and fire at them. And even doing that technique still didn't really help me much. Next up we have the cannon turret. Now the cannon turret is very similar to the tank. It takes a long time to destroy it, maybe a little bit quicker than a tank. Definitely not as long as the gunship. And just like the tank and the gunship, it's not really worth you firing at the cannon turret. It's going to take you like more magazines than you should really use on one enemy. I would just go with stratagem or a support weapon or something with penetration to take out the cannon turret instead. It'll save you a lot of time. And when it comes to light fabricators and other things that have plating, you won't be able to penetrate it. Even if you shoot in through the door, it'll just ricochet back at you and now the ricochet will do damage to you since the latest patch. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you guys next time.